This is a Samuel Francis writing machine, nicknamed Literary Piano. Patented in 1857, this prototype combines a piano-like keyboard with a circular typewriter mechanism. This prototype is one of the early typing instruments. It sits on the shelves of history near Hansen Writing Wall, Burst Typographer and other clever mechanisms that preceded the standard typewriter that we can still find in enthusiast collections and antiquity stores. Modern computer keyboards have nothing in common with this piece of history. And it is quite a shame. Many of the brain areas that process language also react to music, which makes the idea of language and music being akin a powerful one. So let's see if we can revive Samuel Francis' heritage by turning a modern MIDI keyboard into a perfect writing machine. The first step is the hardest. We need to choose the keyboard layout. I could not find the original arrangement that was used by Sam. However, a piano roll actually has some letters on it already. If you look at this small prototype, you will see the notes that are neatly labeled on its keys. Letters E and A are also some of the most commonly used letters in English alphabet. We can add the vowels and other popular letters to the same region, keeping them on the white keys. All white keys belong to the same scale called C major, which means that they will likely sound good together. C and D are also quite common letters, as well as some other consonants that get placed on the lower keys. I added letter F to the corresponding note despite its low frequency in the English language because it really helps getting the message across. The less popular letters get a place on the black keys and punctuation signs go on my drum pads, as well as the shift key. There is one problem. I only have 24 keys to represent 26 letters of English alphabet. Here's the question, which letters am I missing? Comment below so your man can get some engagement on this video. Once the hardest part is done, it is time to make a program that converts MIDI signals into letters. I wrote a simple Python script to capture MIDI signals and turn them into keyboard input. The download link is in this video's description. However, if we just capture the MIDI messages, the result is a bit too... quiet. By resending the captured MIDI signal back into the system, we can route it through the digital audio workstation and hear our message play out loud. We can also twist the project inside out and use a different Python script to capture the laptop keyboard input and convert it into musical messages. This makes typing out a haiku a little quicker and, in a way, more powerful. This version of the script is also available to download from video description. So, recreating Samuel Francis' writing machine in the digital world is fun and all, but can this knowledge and tools be applied somewhere else? Yes! We can use a similar script to return the MIDI messages to an Arduino, which will then convert them into cool visuals. Like this, with just two simple scripts, you can upgrade your performance with RGB lights, matrix displays and anything you'd like, really. Let me know if you'd like a more detailed tutorial on this gadget implementation in the comments. And with that, Tom and Bianco out! Let me know what you think about this video, any feedback is always welcome. See ya!